On a free house? There's one up for grabs in the Mount Tabor neighborhood. Yeah, the only catch is it's just south of Hawthorne on Southeast 50th, but you have to move it. So is it even worth it? Tim Becker live in the neighborhood with more. Tim. Yeah, you know, here it is, guys. This is the house. A developer bought it last October and had planned at one point to demolish it. But if you have the time, the money, and everything else that it takes to be able to haul it away, well, then it is yours if you want it. But does that really make financial sense? That's a question that I put to a man who moves everything except mountains for a living. I love how open the house is. Craig Gula owned this old house for 13 years before selling to a developer who, rather than destroy, would now like to preserve the 108-year-old craftsman. The offer, pay to move it, and it's yours for nothing. You'd have to move it all the way down this road. You'd have to clear all the power lines and the low-hanging trees out of the way. Just, uh, how much would that cost? Would it really make sense? That's a question. A lot. It looks like it was built up with a zero lot line. Mm -hmm. I took to Terry Emmert. He's moved over 5,000 houses like this one and tells me a lot goes into considering costs. What type of overhead wires you have, uh, what the widths of the streets are, how much of, of trees have overgrown the roadway. And that's just to start, especially with an old house like this. Even though it's got great bones, as they say, mm -hmm. it still needs a lot of improvement. As it sits, Craig figures it needs tens of thousands of dollars in upgrades. So to move it also? Let's just say we only want a couple blocks away. Uh, by the time we pick that up and move it down the street and put it on a regular foundation, you're probably looking someplace between uh, uh, forty to fifty thousand dollars. Emmert says you can make it eighty or ninety thousand dollars if you put it on a full basement, and that's just moving a couple of blocks away. Not likely or feasible in inner southeast Portland, where if you do find an inexpensive private lot, you might think about it. But then you've got a. A 1907 house setting on a lot with a brand new foundation, you've got a bargain. But if you got to take it 10 miles away, then then that's a problem. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Ember tells me one story ranch style homes and ramblers a lot easier to deal with. This one with its high roof would probably qualify as a two story home. That would make it quite a bit more expensive to move. So Will it happen? Will someone step in and save the old home? We're going to follow up and let you know what happens next. Live in Southeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.